Government schemes intended to boost England's regional economies have not yet demonstrated that they're capable of delivering value for money, the National Audit Office claims. A new report by the UK's spending watchdog has analysed the impact of schemes introduced by the coalition since 2010, including enterprise zones, city deals, local enterprise partnerships and the regional growth fund. Each of these aims to provide support to small firms and improve business sentiment by streamlining red tape building partnerships and offering incentives for those that start up or expand, though the NAO has questioned whether such initiatives have been worth the £4 billion total cost to the economy. Its new report acknowledges that local enterprise partnerships are making progress, though the rate at which they do so varies greatly by region. Furthermore, the UK's 24 enterprise zones are facing significant challenges to create the number of jobs expected, with an original forecast of 54,000 extra roles by 2015 being significantly downgraded to less than 18,000. However, the report notes that progress is being made with the Regional Growth Fund after a slow start, while the City Deals scheme is progressing well and establishing the right structures and processes despite it still being in its early stages. The key concern raised by the NAO is whether the various schemes are providing the value for money that the significant burden on the economy warrants. It's also unclear whether the government has achieved its objective to increase demographic accountability and transparency and ensure that public expenditure is more responsive to the needs of local business and people, the report states. NAO chief Amias Morse said that central government now needs to make sure that there's enough capacity both centrally and locally to oversee initiatives and that time scales are realistic with clear accountability. This story was brought to you by QBE, the business insurance specialist.